Hey everyone, it's Justin. Thank you for watching and welcome to my house. In this video, I got an OBS update. I don't think I've made any OBS or open broadcasting studio videos and I should probably do this a bit more because it is a critical tool for me making these videos that I make on YouTube every single day. OBS Studio basically does all the screen capturing and recording for my videos that are focused on how-to content. Um, my running videos, those are all different, or my gardening stuff, those are different cameras. But the feature I wanna talk about today is brand new. I just stumbled across this. I actually had to go to the release notes to go find it. But if you're using Mac OS and OBS Studio, you can now hide the OBS windows from the display capture, okay? So let me explain why this is so important. I'm gonna grab OBS so you can see what it looks like. This is an OBS window, and I've got this scene set up with showing my center screen, which is what's behind me. Now, if I go to properties on this, what's new is this hide OBS from capture option. This did not exist before I updated, and now when I click it, I still see OBS, but you don't see it any longer. Now it's actually, um, just showing the, what is it just showing? Let me close out of that, save. Yeah, so it's just showing me, that's all you can see. But I'm actually looking at OBS Studio on my screen, you just can't see it. Um, if I go back to the setting, which you can't see me do, I'm just gonna put it there, and I just turn that off, the hide OBS capture. So now you should be able to see, um, if I hit okay, you can see that window and what it looks like. Uh, and I, I think it wasn't showing the hide OBS capture that it's highlighted, but now I've turned it off. Um, so it's not actually showing anymore. Oh, but I guess I can do this, restart, hide, restart, hit okay. Yeah, so that's interesting. Um, but anyways, that's the new feature. I think this is super cool because before I just had to never, ever, ever put OBS on my screen, but now I can have it on my screen and you can't see it and I can make better videos. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you'd like to see more videos about OBS or Open Broadcasting Studio, leave me a comment down below. I'm pretty proficient in using it for recording and if there's videos out there that someone may wanna see, I'd love to make those for you. Until next time, don't forget to always be learning.